All right, welcome back. Um, the dev server is up, but I was going to stream it, but um, the F-16 and the MiG-29 do not have interior cockpits. Um, so, yeah, I was going to uh, stream it, but it's really difficult to fly without in bloody cockpits. Um, but what we'll do... The Tornado does. The Tornado has one. So what I'll do is I'll have a quick look at the F-16. Then I'll look at the uh, MiG-29. And then I'll look at the uh, the Tornado. Um, I've got a Sea Harrier here. Um, but it doesn't have AMRAMs. I think the FSR-2 had AMRAMs. So I don't know when we're going to get them. But uh, I've got a premium F-4J for the, the British... Um, yeah, so I like that's pretty much similar to the American one. Uh, yeah, so every time there's a dev server up, there's always planes that you want to fly that don't have cockpits, and it's really difficult to show what's happening. But, uh, yeah, we'll do the F-16, we'll do the MiG-29, and then we'll have a look at the Tornado. Um, we've got this as well. I'll have, a look, I'll have a look at this as well. What can you do? What can you do? Right, so, uh, six AIM-9Ls, no radar missiles. I mean, this is an early version. There's no radar missiles. Um, you can put a drop tank on, but uh, when I go to test flight, it still gives me 36 minutes, so... This is a dev server. I don't know if it's broken or not. So if I go to secondary weapons, I've got a drop tank here. If I edit it, can I edit? How do I edit? If I remove that, um, test flight, still get 36 minutes, so I don't know, um, no idea. So I'll get a drop tank, but it doesn't, this isn't updated, so I, I don't know how much fuel you get. Um, and there is a button now to drop fuel tanks. I wonder, I've just got on a tangent here, the MiG-9 late. Where are you? I wonder if you can drop these. Oh, maybe they're fixed, I don't know. Because I think they're fuel tanks, aren't they? I don't know. I wonder if you can drop them. Who knows? You won't have any fuel left, though. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, I'll have a quick look at this. Um, you do get... Uh, 19500s. Uh, TV guided GBUs. There's no pod, so you'll be using the camera that's in the actual bomb itself. Or 2000s, uh, Napalm or Incendiary, Mighty Mouse, 65Bs, um, TV guidance, 65Bs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, well, I say pretty basic, but yeah. Now, <clears throat> The issue with this plane is, I don't know if Gaijin are going to um, are going to uh, modify the stability augmentation system because this plane doesn't really do that. Um, uh, it doesn't. Well, it's got stability. It, it's fly by wire, so there are four computers in here somewhere. I think most of them are redundant or spare. Um, this plane is inherently unstable or aerodynamically unstable. So the computers are adjusting these flight control services constantly to keep it flying straight. So turning off the manual control, I don't think that's a thing on this plane. So I don't know how they're going to adjust that. Well, we'll get to the MiG-29 when we go there as well, because that's, that's a whole different kettle of fish as well. So it's fly-by-wire. Uh, the computer is keeping it level, and if you turn that off, you're going to crash. So I don't know how that is supposed to work. I don't know if they're going to address that, but uh, we'll have a look. Um, I said there's no cockpit, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll put that to custom so you can see it. So there you go. It's so annoying that they don't have that that on. So if I go to... I'll just start the engine. 
Looks pretty cool. Um, we have radar. And we have pull stopper, that's it. Um, this green box will appear. But then again, I don't know if it will appear because that's another thing. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, so if I press the... Stability Augmentation System. That shouldn't... That, that shouldn't be on this plane. Uh, manual dampening automatic. That shouldn't be on here. Because if you turn that off, you're going to crash. I'll leave it on manual and I'll see what it looks like. Um, also, the... Uh, yeah, the green box. I don't know. Um... Because we haven't got a hood on this plane because we haven't got a copy. I don't know if they've modelled the hood on the visor screen, on the helmet screen. Because, um, I know the SU-27, I know it's not in the game, but the SU-27 has the hood on the actual visor so you can look, when wherever you're looking, you can, you can lock onto a plane. I don't know if that's modelled either. It doesn't look like it, but... Yeah, oh well. I'll take off and see what happens. It's going to be really difficult to fly. Really difficult. Okay. Whoop, yeah, it's a bit wobbly. Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know. There might be a separate button... To because on the on the SU twenty seven, I mean I'm talking about DCS here. Uh, you ha there's a the mode where you toggle it and you can toggle it to the the head mounted, you know your, your visor and your helmet. You can toggle that that hood. So I don't know. So I don't know if that green box is going to be there all the time. I'm struggling to keep this straight. So if I put dampening on, does that make it any better? A little bit, but it's still pulling up constantly. Um, so aim nine L's. It is a bit weird. So I don't know. I mean, the radar's pretty useless without radar. <laughs> without radar, bloody missiles. Oh, I've turned my engine off by accident. Uh, missile seeker on. No, I don't know what's going on here. I did think it's going to reach that, is it? There we go. Yeah, so without the... Uh, without the cockpit, it's really difficult to tell what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. With the, with the hood that's imprinted on the visor of your helmet, um, with the F-16, I don't know if you, if it's automatic or if it's uh, something that you toggle. I'm not sure. We've got, we've got pulse Doppler and normal search. That's all we have. And I'm, I'm constantly pushing forward. So, you see, I'm not doing anything and it's just pulling up. So, I, I really don't know what, what's going to happen. I really don't know. And it's so annoying that they bring a dev server out while they don't have a copy, it's really annoying. But we do get... a range indicator, but... There we go. Now the MiG-29 gets even better Sidewinder type of styles, so... We'll have a look at that. Yeah, so... 10 G's, it, um, it does pull a lot of G's, and I noticed that the uh, the G suit is quite, the G suit is um, on the third level, I think, to unlock. <clears throat> yeah, so, I don't know, because, yeah, I just don't know how they're going to do it. That's why I haven't streamed it, because it's just, it's just, uh, you just, it's just, speculation on my part um that's the wrong button modifications 
Yeah, so the G suit's here instead of down here. So you're going to need that because it uh, it pulls a lot of Gs. Um, but it felt really weird. And yeah, so the stability thing, I don't know how they're going to address that. I didn't watch the stream, so I don't know. But anyway, we'll move on to the MIG. Right, I had a look on the um, on the controls settings, and I couldn't find any mode that switches your uh, visor hood. Um, I'm just guessing that these planes have them. I know the SU-27 does, but I don't know if the MiG-29 does, and I don't know if the F-16 does. Um, they might have it, I don't know. Um, but it, I couldn't see anything in the options. Um, now, with the MiG-29, you get uh, R-27s, uh, radar and, therm and thermal, or infrared. Um, R-73s, 40G missiles, R-60Ms. Now, the launch range of the, the R-60M is, uh, well, it's a bit, well, six miles and five miles. Um, but the R-73s, it says lock-in range at 15 miles, so. That is, uh, I wonder if it, you can probably use these with the IRST as well, I imagine. Um, these are a lot longer range. Um, they're not as long as the Phoenix, but given the size of the maps, um, I think it'll still lock onto a plane at, a, at the same distance because the maps are only so big, aren't they? So they're going to be interesting. Um, I'll see what I can create here. I don't know if I can have one of each or not. I'm not sure. Okay, so I didn't think it'd let me do that. So I've got two R60s, two R73s, um, an R27, and an R27T. So you get the infrared one and the radar one. So I didn't think you could try it. I didn't think you could put them all on, but I guess you can. So that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, the, the gimp suit is on the second level, second level again. So, uh, um, 1523 miles per hour at 45,000 feet, turn time of 19.6 seconds. Wow. So if this is anything like, um, if it's anything like the SU-27, um, you can turn the computer controls off and fly it manually. Now, I don't know if you can do that with the F-16, but you can with the SU-27. Um, so, I mean, to do the Cobra things and the uh, spinny winny things in the MiG-29, I presume you've got to turn it off. But, as I said, that system is completely different to the SAS thing that, that in that Gaijin I've got now. So, I don't know how they're going to address that. So, um, it's a super cool looking plane as well. Super cool. All right, let's have a test flight. Okay, right, so we're still no cockpit, but I haven't got a mouse, but um, the infrared sensor is that little grey bubble in front of the uh, cockpit, so it's it's above the uh, the nose instead of underneath it, so that should be a bit easy to use. Um, what do we do here? So we've got pulse doppler, trackball scan, pulse doppler something i can't read that because it's mixed up so there's two different pulse dopplers and heading six hdn 16 okay so we get pulse doppler hdn track while scan hdn i don't know what that is um i don't appear to be able to widen yeah it will it uh it will widen the uh the search acm as well so yeah okay so I can't I can't make it any wider um, and of course we've got the infrared search so let us try yeah, all these weapons we'll try the R60 well, we've, well we'll try the R oh we've only got two planes to shoot down um, we'll try the R-73, and we'll try it with the infrared search as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool, this. So, yeah, now I can... Stability, dampening... 
automatic leveling, manual control. So, does the dampening... I don't know. Yeah, so... As I said, with the SU-27, it's just a, a, a button, or a, it's just a switch that you toggle on and off. Um, so, I don't know how they're going to do this. Alright, let's try it. So, we've got the R-73. The R Okay, so that circle, maybe it's just the MiG-29 that's got it. Can I lock by looking at it over there? So I'm, I'm using my track I had to try and... No, try that again. Try and see if I can lock it from not actually looking at it. No, it's not... Uh, Where did it go? But I locked the sun then. <laughs> don't want to lock the sun. Okay, let's try that again. So I won't look at it with the... Yeah, there we go. So maybe it's just the MiG-29 that has it. I don't know how far that missile will go though. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Um, let's try the R-27. The T. Let's see if that works. Where's the, uh, the planes behind me? Somewhere. I mean, obviously you wouldn't be able to do this in a sim game. Right, we'll turn around. So I didn't even need the search, the infrared search. Where are you? Way down there. So let's see. Wait, it, it, it tracked it bloody straight away. Hang on. Oh yeah. So you've got a limited view. Go. I'm trying to get the. Uh... There we go. Can I fire? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, so I'm guessing that the, uh, the F-16 doesn't have it. I mean, I don't even know if I was in range or not, but... I might not have been in range. Let us try. Oh, it was in range. It was in range. Okay, yeah, this feels a lot more stable. Have I got... I had, I had uh, dampening on. Let's uh, try manual. Um, can I do... Oh, I can do huge... Huge G maneuvers. Okay. Alright. Um, let's, let's restart that. Okay, so... I can't get the radar missiles to work in test flight. They never work. So I've just got um, the infrared search and the R23s and bam, 40G missiles. Yeah, so I don't know what I don't know what it is about test flight, but it it just doesn't like radar missiles. Um, where's the other one? Okay, yeah, so these R-73s are pretty cool. And I like the way that... Uh, <laughs> just fire them at any angle. Amazing. So this is going to be quite a dangerous plane. Um, I said the, the radar missiles just not going to work, are they? Um, what's the cannon? Can I do... I can't change. That's the cannon, but I can't change the... Uh, gun sight mode because it hasn't got a gun sight. Whoa. Yeah, so 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's have a look at the tornado. Um, it's basically a ground attacker, so it doesn't get... Uh, it gets aim 9Ls, and that's it. But it is, it's, you know, it's a low-level ground attacker. It does get a pod. I don't know about... I don't know if it's got the... Uh, the radar, but I'll be back in a minute. I'll I'll put it into a crew and I'll, I'll see what it's got. Now, on the stat card, it said this plane only goes 600 miles an hour. Um, but I was under the impression that this plane could super cruise. So I, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Right, let's uh, try the M9Ls while we're here. This is a. It's not a manoeuvrable plane. It's not a. It's not an amazingly. Uh, Maneuverable plane. Okay. It's wobbly. Hello. I don't know how far away that is. No. Try again. I'm guessing the box is where the missiles are looking. The RLs. Okay. There we go. Nope. Try that. Okay, so let me have a look and see it. Okay, so these wings are, it does look like they are automatic. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I suppose we'll leave it like that. Um, but yeah, I was under, under the impression that this at a certain height it could super cruise, but who knows? Maybe it's not this version. Um, let's have a quick look at the uh, the GBUs. Okie dokie, so we'll flick to that. Uh, well, there's something there. We'll lock onto that, can we? Hello? Can we lock, please? Do I need the laser on? Not locking. Okay. Yeah, so. <clears throat> It looks like I've locked. There we go. And GBU. Drop the bomb. Can I drop two? I think I can drop two. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> we will see. No, no. Am I keeping level? No, not really. I'm diving a bit, aren't I? I think it's keeping the wings level, but it's not keeping the plane level. I don't know why it does that. Okay. No, we're still... There we go. Yes, yeah, so that works, but um, I've never been any good with these. It's uh, it's a bit hit and miss for me with these these things. <clears throat> right, uh, I'll restart and I'll do some low level. See if it does CCIP and stuff. I'll have a look. Okay. Okay, it does have a CCRP, but I don't know where I'm pointing. So yeah, it does have it, but I don't know where I'm pointing, so I'll turn that off. And I don't know why. Okay. Try that again. I, I don't know where to point the nose. So, let us see if... If the CCIP works. 
because that uh, that circle should it should move shouldn't it I don't think it's gonna I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything this is why I didn't uh, yeah it's pretty hard to do stuff when you yeah this this uh, yeah you can't tell it's it doesn't work oh no, no it, there we go Okay, so the CCIP works. It just appeared up at the last second, but... The CCRP? I have no idea. Unless I've got to do a vertical dive from a high level. No, but that doesn't work either. I don't know. Okay, so there is something here. But obviously the lower level stuff. Okay. That is really low level, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting. So let's try cannons on the ground. See if I get it. Yeah. Oh, I get something for the cannons. That's not too bad. Oh, it's a bit wobbly though. It's very wobbly. That's a bit low. So, yeah. So, I might be doing something wrong with the CCRP. Yeah, so if I go to X-Ray, it does. It says it's got a radar, but it doesn't... It's not obviously not modelled. They haven't finished it. 27mm uh, Mauser. BK-27. Okay. I guess they're German guns, maybe. So, yeah, it does have a radar, but it, it's not modelled. It's not... Uh, it's broken. Do we get any? No, we don't. We don't get any camouflage for it. But yeah, that's that's it really. Um, sea Harrier. It's the early version, so there's no Amrams. We get Aim Nine Ls, I think. Oh, Aim Nine G. No, Aim Nine Ls. Aim Nine Ls. So. I don't know when we will get AMRAMs. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. Uh, is it a squadron vehicle? I think it is, isn't it? Or is it just is it a premium? Oh, it's just, just a premium, isn't it? Um, GBUs. Five, it, it carries lots of stuff. AIM-9Ls. AIM-9Ls. 28500. 13 1000s. 10 GBU 10s, uh, 5 GBU 10s, 5 2000s, 5 2... Wowzers. No, the engine work, come on. That's amazing! <laughs> yeah, oh well. I tried to fly it. It's got radar. It's got radar warning. It's got a pod, um... It's got its own pod. I don't know if you can see it here. Underneath the nose there, it's got its own pod. I presume it's got laser. Have they got laser? It's got laser. Um, so you can turn the laser on and off. Um, and it's got thermal imaging. But it doesn't have an engine. The engines don't work. So I can't... I can't fly it! Unbelievable! Unbelievable. Yeah, so... Yeah, if they uh, if they do manage to get a cockpit in these two planes, I'll I'll stream it, but... I doubt we'll get them. I, I, I doubt we'll see them until it come, the patch comes out, but anyway. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.